The Philadelphia campaign had already begun with the Continental Army losing the Battle of Brandywine and the hurricane-halted Battle of the Clouds on September 16, 1777, so Washington told his troops to meet at Chester Springs in the area of the Yellow Springs Tavern, where the sick from Valley Forge would eventually be treated. While there, the general sent Alexander Hamilton and Lighthouse Harry Lee with 18 men to gather supplies from an outbuilding at Valley Forge to prevent the British from getting them then transport them west on the Schuylkill River in a barge toward Washington's forges at Warwick Furnace and Reading Furnace. But 600 mounted British soldiers met Hamilton and Lee there, forcing Lee to flee back to Yellow Springs Tavern and Hamilton to jump his horse onto a barge, only to have it shot from beneath him. A dive into the river, and borrowed horse, saved the United States from losing a musical. At this time Washington decided that the British were heading to those forges to dismantle his ability to make his cannons and rifles. The men needed to repair their rifles as well and dry out from the northeaster encountered at the Battle of the Clouds. So three quarters of his soldiers marched west around 15 miles, leaving General Anthony Wayne behind with one quarter of the Continental Army to keep tabs on the British and their movements. While at Warwick Furnace, a large property with barns and a large house to headquarter around, there had been rumors for 250 years that Washington had buried his cannon there so the British could not get them, but that had been shot down since 1777 by most historians. Surprise! They found four buried cannon there in 2022. They used the grounds and forges, whose history included not only the manufacture of the Continental Army's cannons, but the first Franklin stove and eventually munitions for the Civil War. This area has recently been discovered, an archaeological work done to uncover the forge. It is now preserved and may be visited, a small part of history of the Philadelphia campaign, but imperative for the Continental Army to survive. The house and barn are on private property, but there are trails around the preserved land and creek that served the Warwick Forge. Washington would send some of his men to the Reading Furnace to bivouac around the grounds and service their weapons. The general would eat dinner there with his commanders, served by the wife of Colonel Thomas Bull, who was imprisoned on a British ship in New York Harbor. The property of Reading Furnace is privately owned, but extremely well maintained, with period and more modern buildings. The French Creek winds through the property. When General Washington received word of the Powley massacre at his headquarters, he knew their stay at the forges must be cut short and their movement east toward Philadelphia. Wayne had been surprised by a midnight attack, September 20-21. His men needed to meet up with the rest of the army and heal his men. George Washington would leave the furnaces and head east, attempting to keep his army close enough to Philadelphia but also keep it between the British under surveillance, and at a midpoint near enough to the forges of Warwick and Reading that were necessary for the Continental Army's survival and ability to keep the American Revolution going.